What's up everyone? I found an interview from Entertainment Weekly Online in which one of the directors of the up and coming season 7, Matt Shakeman, stated that this season the dragons are going to be bigger than ever. Now of course they say that every season, but with the increased budget given due to the fewer episodes to film, I can imagine the dragons will in fact be the biggest we have ever seen. Now just for reference sake, the exact quote given to us from Shakeman was that, the dragons this season will be the size of Boeing 747s. Of course he was joking a bit, but let's just pretend they are that big. That's 230 feet long with 210 foot wingspan. Can we all collectively say holy shit? There must be something in the air on the narrow sea, or maybe Danny's magic is growing, and with it, so will her dragons. This of course raises a number of questions, but the most important of which is how will this affect the amount of damage they can do on screen. Drogon has always been the biggest, but now it would seem like Viserion and Rhaegal are playing catch up. My personal biggest fear is that with the dragon's size, they are ultimately bigger targets and slower also, making them easier to hit. But the same point can be made that since they're bigger, they're actually stronger and harder to kill. I don't know, but we will likely lose one or all the dragons. I just don't want to see that happen. Now I will say this, with bigger size comes more power. So it is to be expected that these 747 Boeing sized dragons will wreck anything they come across. Drogon nearly died in the pits of Daznak, but he was also not that size and he was nowhere near the size of an aerial plane that can carry 416 people. Arrows and spears do not stand a chance this time around since I imagine their hides have gotten thicker as well, which could potentially force Cersei to make some sort of anti-dragon device involving wildfire and Valerian steel tipped arrows. I had actually mentioned in a previous live stream about how I think that Sam will learn how to make small amounts of Valerian steel, the same way the maesters make the link of Valerian steel for their chains once they have mastered the magical arts. So who's to say Cersei won't do the same with Kyburn? Leak spoilers confirm that there is some sort of anti-dragon weapon, and it will be awesome, but also terrifying to see it in action. Hopefully I gave you something to ponder, and what do you think about the new size for the dragons? You know, actually, if we go by history, dragons have long since lived longer than their riders. So what if the dragons don't die and they're still left alive? Now looking back to dragons that were remotely close to this size but a little bit bigger, the first one that pops in my head is Balerion the Black Dread. And let me just read you real quick what his description is so that you can just understand if you've never heard of Balerion the Black Dread. Balerion was the largest of all the Targaryen dragons. His fire was as black as his scales, his wingspan so vast that entire towns would fall under his shadow when he passed overhead. Sound a little bit familiar? His teeth were as long as swords, and his jaws were large enough to swallow an oryx hole, or even one of those hairy mammoths that are said to roam the cold waste beyond the port of Ibn. Now what we can take from that is that when Drogon is at his full size, he might actually be the same size as Balerion. Now, in the novels, that might not be the case. But on the TV show, I think they're trying to make it seem like, yeah, 747 carrying 416 passengers, is that's really what we're carrying, comparing Drogon and the other dragons to. It sounds like they're trying to make them as big as Aegon's dragons. So with that being said, once Aegon conquered Westeros, or once Daenerys conquers Westeros, maybe her dragons won't die. All right, now I know this video was kind of short, but that's going to be wrapping this up. I want to thank you all so much for watching. The like goal for this video is a whopping 10 likes. If you would like to be entered into my Daenerys Dark Horse figuring giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, and follow me on Twitter. As always, my name's Mark, and I'll see you tomorrow.